Hi, welcome back to Engine Shop Joe. Hope you had a good week. If you like this video after it's over, click thumbs up. That helps other people to find it because it moves up on the search criteria in uh, Google. And today we're going to talk about the data bus. We're going to talk about uh, when modules have problems communicating and you're trying to figure out what's wrong. Cummins actually has a breakout tool, which is a harness and some adapters that they made initially back in 2016. And they made it so that you would have a clean data bus and clean power going to the device or modules. So you can see if that one module starts communicating once you have a, a healthy uh, data bus and a healthy module with no other modules on it. That's important because it, the, basically the way that a data bus works is all the devices are communicating on that bus at one time and the system uses pulse width height and pulse width to determine what's being set. So we're not going to get into that, but uh, this tool removes all the other devices that communicate so that you can hook up just a device you're having trouble with or that the ECM is not able to communicate with and the engine ECM. You'll uh, power up the device with uh, external ground and power to make sure it's got a clean power source. And then, you know, you'll key on. Of course, you'll have a lot of faults for the other devices, but this device should come online and any abnormal update rate faults you have should disappear. Uh, Cummins says when you use this, you should look up the SC code to know whether you've got to supply 12 or 24 volts to the device so you don't damage it. Uh, an example is a lot of cranes are 24 volt systems. The engine calibration expects everything to be 24 volts. Whereas on trucks, on highway trucks in, in uh, USA and Canada, North America, most of the stuff's 12 volts. So the SC code would, would uh, list 12 volts as a system voltage. I actually looked up on QSOL and engine number to show you what you'll see the screens where to go. Of course, it doesn't show the system voltage because there's a lot of stuff missing out of the new part system. This particular engine number has the system voltage missing out of it. You can also find that voltage in Insight in the ECM calibrations under system property properties. You can also call Cummins and ask them what the voltage is supposed to be and they can tell you if you've got to troubleshoot it. So let's get going and just take a quick look at the tool and you'll see the part number of the kit. And again, this was developed in 2016 and they refined their kits as needed. It's got a, a technical service bulletin that goes with it. That bulletin's number is TSB. 160021. That's TSB 160021 if you need all of that data. And you can, if you have QuickServe Online, you can just open up QuickServe Online, go to the top right where the search boxes are, and type in TSB 160021, hit enter, and it will come up. And then you can print it or save it to PDF, whatever. So let's take a look. So here's the kit. And uh, this is kind of a close-up of the different pieces. You can see that it's got uh, in slide three down in the bottom left, it's got uh, banana jack plugs with alligator clips. And then up on top in the middle, you can see it's got the banana jack sockets. So you can use different test leads for different, uh, to power up different devices, basically. And then up at the top right, you can see it's got uh, the plugs on the end of it to plug into each of the devices that plug onto the data bus. And then it's got number nine is a breakout plug uh, that you could plug into the data bus with. And then four is where you could put a terminator in if you needed it. And they do supply you with the terminator. And over on the far right, you can see there's actually a, uh, it comes with a plug that'll plug into a cigarette lighter uh, outlet for power to get po the 12 volt power that you'd need. So this is the whole kit. 
and it's made to be plug and play on a data bus so you don't have to cut anything and when you're done you can plug everything back in and there's no no problems with anything so here that entire kit if you went and ordered it with all the pieces and parts in the box that it comes in is a uh, five two nine nine four six five that's the part number of it and again this bulletin was from 2016 so if they change that part number the guy at comments can put that number it'll come up to the new number you can also type that number in the top right under search all engines in quickserve online uh, don't put kit just the number hit enter and it should bring up some documents that would have the updated part number in it and then you can see down at the bottom the breakdown of that kit with all the um, separate part numbers if you wanted to buy just one of those items okay thanks for joining me on edge and shop joe i'll see you next time